In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for HCl plus MgCO3, hydrochloric acid plus magnesium carbonate. So when these two substances react, initially we get magnesium chloride in this H2CO3, carbonic acid. But this carbonic acid will break down and we'll end up with carbon dioxide and water. So this is the equation we're going to use when we balance the net ionic equation for HCl plus MgCO3. First thing we do, balance the molecular equation. I see I have two chlorines here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the HCl, and I believe that balances the molecular equation. Yeah, it does. So we have a balanced molecular equation. Next, we'll write the state for each substance. So hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. It's going to break apart into its ions. So we're going to put an AQ after that. So carbonates are often insoluble, and I'd like to look at a solubility chart just to make sure. So here's our chart. We have magnesium, the Mg2 plus ion, and the carbonate, CO3 2 minus, and it is insoluble. So that I means that it's not going to dissolve in water and that it'll be a solid. So we're going to write S for a solid there. So we know that our magnesium carbonate is going to be a solid. For magnesium chloride, chloride's a very soluble an AQ. Carbon dioxide is a gas and water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. So HCl, hydrogen is one plus on the periodic table, chlorine one minus. So we have two hydrogen ions, two H plus. I'll write the states at the end, let's not do that now. Two chloride ions, and then for the magnesium carbonate, because it's a solid, we don't split it apart in the net ionic equation. We just put MgCO3. So that's why it's important that we check the solubility. So these are the reactants in the products. Magnesium group 2 on the periodic table, 2 plus, we said the chlorine, 1 minus. So we'll have Mg2 plus the magnesium ion plus the chloride ion, and we'll have two of those. And then we don't split gases or liquids apart, so we'll have CO2 plus H2O. And this is the complete or total ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So I'm looking in the reactants and the products. I see I have two chloride ions here, two here. I'm going to cross those out. But everything else is unique, and that means this is going to be the net ionic equation for HCl plus MgCO3. I'll clean this up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for HCl plus MgCO3. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 plus, so 2 plus in the reactants, and then 2 plus here in the products. And that if you count the atoms up, we'll have the same number of each type of atom on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for hydrochloric acid plus magnesium carbonate. Thanks for watching.